Okay, I'm going to do a classic grailing fly, the red tag. This is on the classic hook, the mustard 94833, R30 as it's known now, uh, size 14. We'll uh, just cover the hook shank from a start a wee bit behind the eye and go to about where the uh, barb is and that'll do us for now. Um, floss, the tag as in the name. So I use real silk. This is much better than anything else. So pull off a length. This is a nice little trick if you're tying several flies. Instead of folding and cutting and folding and cutting your floss, put it around your fingers like this and wind it around your fingers. How many times you need it, like this, four times, and then take your scissors and just cut it and you've got four wraps of floss immediately. If you're tying a lot of flies it's a good little trick. It makes things a lot easier and a lot quicker. So I like a short tag but tie your tag in a little longer because it's it's much easier to manage than a tiny little short bit of tag. So let's just tie this down to the hook shank. I don't want to go over with the floss where I'm going to have the hackle so I stop a wee bit back. Trim that off. And then we can just put that down like that and back up to the tag. Secure the base of that correctly. There we go. Then I can shorten that. Now you can cut the tag to the length you want. I like a just an indication of a tag, just a very short one. It's all personal taste that. So we need some peacock curl. And for the uh, for a size 13, uh, 14, I use a uh, I use two normally. Uh, and if you're not aware, Peacock Hurl has recently been placed on the CITES list. So it will not be available as it has been in the past. So if you manage to get hold of some good hurl, I'd buy it and stock up on it. There you go. The one I use is. Uh, which is very reasonably priced and excellent quality is the Veniard Peacock Eye Tops and Veniard assure me that they have a lot in stock so there we are so take your hells tied in by the points try and keep them parallel so you pass them over try not to twist them you pass them hand over hand because you want this hole to stand to make a nice pet uh, looking fly, you want it to stand 90 degrees from the hook shank. So we'll go up here. There we go. Getting a bit thicker now. There we are, that'll do us. So we'll tie those off there. Come on, that way. Where I'm going to have the I can just pull those off. Right, try and level up the hook shank between the whole body and the hook eye. See, so your hackle sits nicely. If it's all uneven, your hackle will have a tendency to go uneven as well. So, on these small flies, I like to strip half of the hackle off. 
the, uh, the actual hackle. So it's easier to get a, a nice 90 degree standing hackle. There we go, you can see that there, the back part is stripped off. So that will make... I'll turn there. And then work our way forward. Nice tight turns. There we are. Spin that thread up. Got you. One behind, one in front, and then a couple more behind. And I'll take the whip finish. Get that back out of the way. Two, three. Give it one more. Oops. There we go. That's that done. Remove the tying thread. Turn off the hackle. There we are. That's looking better now. Classic red tag. Great fly for both tripes and grayling.